What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chad and if you like drone reviews and drone related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. So today DJI just released a new firmware update version 01.00.0340. Now if I didn't get that number right, it'll be right up here on the screen. So with this update comes a feature that was kind of unexpected. Now with the Mavic Air 2, we have the ability to zoom in up to four times. Now the only other DJI consumer drone that does this is the Mavic 2 Zoom. Oh, sweating like crazy. Okay, I can't do this out here. I'm sweating like crazy. And plus all these flies. All right, so let's try this again. It is the next morning and it's a lot cooler. Uh, yesterday it was around 100 degrees, so uh, I just decided to continue this morning. Uh, but I really don't want to make this video longer than it should be. So uh, like I was saying, the only uh, DJI consumer drone that uh, has the zoom feature is the Mavic 2 zoom. So with this zoom feature, it gives the Mavic Air 2 more value for the buck. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is actually just put this drone up in the air and I'm gonna show you where to find the zoom feature. And also I'm gonna show you uh, another or a couple other features that were added with this firmware update. So hold tight. All right, so here we have the water tower. We're gonna to zoom in on it using the zoom feature. So to get to the zoom feature, uh, all you have to do is hit the film strip uh, on the top of the uh, shutter button there. And uh, you see your film modes here and you got 4k you see they have now they labeled it 4k wide and then you have 4k zoom now in 4k zoom uh, you can film in 24 25 and 30 frames per second so I'm just going to choose 30 frames per second and automatically you go to one time zoom and it crops in just a little bit there and um, all you need to do is actually, you see it says one times and you just tap on that, zoom in once, uh, two times. And the maximum you can go in 4K is two times zoom. And also uh, in 2.7K, you can only go as far as two times zoom. All right, so, but it also if you long press that uh, button there and then slide your finger up and down, you can zoom in and out in increments. You can zoom in slowly or zoom out slowly. You can also do it that way. Now also you have 2.7K, which offers zoom in uh, 24 frames per second all the way up to 60 frames per second. And it's the same thing. You press two times zoom, press again, one time zoom, two times zoom, one time zoom, long press, slide your finger up and down, you can slide in and out of zoom. Now in 1080p, you can uh, film in, actually you can zoom in from 24 frames per second all the way up to 60 frames per second, but you can, the maximum zoom is four times. So you have one time right here, two times, three times, and four and once again long press slide your finger up and down you can scroll it in and out slowly if you like and that's a nice little feature there 
All right, so we're gonna keep it in 1080p. Guy mowing the lawn over here. Sorry about that. Um, we're gonna keep it in 1080p, and we're gonna see if we can do some uh, active tracking with the zoom feature. So I'm just gonna move it up just a little bit, a little bit closer. and bring it up a little higher. So I'm gonna zoom in four times on this here and I'm gonna trace the top of the water tower. All right, it picked it up. And I'm gonna do a POI and I'm gonna go right and let's see. All right, so Four times zoom, uh, it loses it. However, I think it's moving a little bit too fast because it's, uh, the image is moving a little bit too fast so it's because it's zoomed in. So what I'm gonna do is switch over to, uh, switch over to tripod mode. So let's zoom in, go to tripod mode. Let's see if that's slow enough. Or I could have just slowed it down on the uh, control there for the POI. But let's do it in tripod mode and see uh, if this works. All right, so it's holding on there. All right, now it's locked in. So it definitely works. Active tracking or uh, POI, at least POI works. Now this is, you can get some really cool shots. And you see that parallax uh, effect going on right there? You can get some nice little parallax effects with uh, the zoom feature. Now I kind of lost it a little bit, but let's see if I can uh, just slow it down just a little. Let's stop it. Let's trace again. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit more. So just remember not to go too fast when you zoomed all the way in. Maybe if I bring it out to 3x and trace, I probably can go a little bit faster. Go. Let's wait till it locks on. All right, so it's locked on now. Let's see if we can zoom in and out as we're going. Okay, I guess you can. There we go. Nice. Let's see if we can slide in and out. Yep. Look at that. That's cool. Go back to one times. So the active track does work in the zoom feature. That's cool. All right, so let's stop that. Now we're gonna see if I can use the spotlight mode. Zoom in, there we go. Spotlight mode works as well. Kind of loses it a little bit, but you still can track it. Now I don't have any vehicles to track. Maybe I can track this guy mowing the lawn over here, hold tight. So we got them locked. Zooming in, nice. So another safety feature that DJI has added with this update is the ability to uh, disable side-to-side -side flight. Now um, right above the uh, return to home button, you see an icon right there, uh, like an arrow pointing up, and you just tap that and it says safety systems mode flight, uh, side flight is off. Now you see the green buttons, I mean green uh, arrows pointing up and down, so that means you can fly forward and backwards. So I'm gonna fly forward just a little bit and backwards. 
All right, but I can't go side to side. So I'm gonna press side to side. I'm pressing the sticks left, no, right, no. All right, so that's another, that's one safety feature. Um, also, you can access that inside the menu. So if you hit the, the three buttons here and under the safety tab, you can see disable flight, uh, a side, sideways flight. You can toggle that on and off if you like. Also, another safety feature that DJI has added is the uh, obstacle avoidance action. Now you can decide what you want to do with your aircraft when it comes a, across an obstacle. So uh, you can bypass it or brake, or you can just completely turn off obstacle avoidance. However, it'll give you, I think it'll give you a warning that is something in front of you, but it won't, uh, it'll keep going if you have the sticks forward. All right, so what did you think? Uh, do you like the zoom feature or is it even necessary? Um, for me, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it as much, but it is a nice feature to have on there. Uh, another tool in your tool belt, uh, if you wanna say that. So the zoom feature may be good for those pilots who uh, do professional work, like inspect cell towers or maybe uh, a real estate uh, photographer. So this is definitely a game changer. Uh, DJI is continuing to roll out features that no other uh, drone manufacturer can, can match for this price point. I'm also wondering what the Mavic 3 will look like. So I couldn't go over all the updates in this short video, but some of the other updates that were included were uh, optimization of the FPV mode, optimization of the hyperlapse mode, and optimization of the active track mode. So uh, those may come in a later video. So in order to upgrade this firmware, I believe you also need to update your uh, DJI Fly app to version 1.1.6. And if you haven't seen my video on that, uh, it'll be right here on the screen. So go ahead and check that out. But in the meantime, guys, you take care and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.